Hey everybody, Rubicon here with Total War Troy, a saga. This is Sparta, Mental House campaign right here. We also have a Hector campaign going on on the channel. First of all, thank you to Creative Assembly for giving me early access. Very excited to show you guys what the Spartans can do for you. Before we get any further, if you want to keep up with this series, don't forget, click on the logo in the bottom right hand corner. That's the easiest way to make sure you can set up a subscription so that way the channel can send you a notification when a new video goes live. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the Plank Cadence. We'll get right into it though with Menelaus. Again, very similar to Hector. You've got your Homeric victory, complete all the epic mission chain quests. There are 12 of them. Make sure that the following factions are destroyed or confederated. Hector, Paris of Troy and Troy. We've got to capture Helen and hold two settlements, including the following Troy and our home base. Then you have your typical defeat the first antagonist faction, occupy, raise or sack 100 different settlements and then control Troy, Mycena or Nosos. I believe that's how you say it again. Greek pronunciation, not my forte. So please, please, please in the comment section, let me know if I'm mispronouncing something. I'd like to make sure it's correct. So I'm going off what I think is correct, but if it's not, please let me know. So with Sparta, we have a special ability that is pretty cool, I think. By having a defensive or military ally, we can recruit units from their roster. So we can pretty much become a hodgepodge of any of our allies. So call to arms units can be recruited regardless of where your army is. And call to arms units take more turns to be recruited. So there is a bit of a drawback because it takes longer. But think global recruitment and the Warhammer uh, titles and then you can recruit other factions units. So pretty cool. Also with Spartan colonies, uh, they are very, very adept. So you can instantly colonize a raised settlement within our line of sight, and we don't have to use our army to do it. However, it does cost resources. And then the further away you go, the more expensive it gets. So with their play style, heavy armored infantry with effective slingers uh, for preemptive strikes, we can't uh, get any archer heroes. Uh, but we can get defenders, fighters, and warlords. Our unique units, heroic axe warriors, excellent armor piercing damaged. They are armored and shielded, and they are heavyweight class. Also two-handed uh, axe infantry, so pretty much damage dealers. And then light spear runners. So they are very fast, they can switch weapons, and they're also very swift-footed. So pretty, pretty much you've got your guys that will hold down the line, hammer and anvil tactics. So Agamemnon, big bro, what we've got is our own, we have two plus to motivation of new hero units and we get four additional influence in the region that we are currently located in. So without further ado, Menelaus, here we go. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. Hear me, spear-famed Menelaus. Brazen Prince Paris of Troy has dared to steal your wife. Paris of Troy must pay! Gold-rich Mycenae, ruled by your brother Agamemnon, will support your cause. Troy thinks to slight me, but they will pay the price. As well as exacting vengeance upon Troy, other matters demand your attention. Open rebellion has devastated the region of Aetis, 
where a pretender is trying to take power for himself. South of Etis, mighty Tyrins holds Kithara Island, blocking your access to the treasures of Crete, which are beyond imagination. Consolidate your power at home. Urge Helen's suitors to honor the oath of Tyndarius in your defense, and wage war on the perfidious Trojan princeling. Perdiphius Trojan Princeling. Now there is some grammar for today. All right, so again, Spartan colonies, since we're known for our intrepidity and ingenuity, we can colonize a race element instantly, and we can do the call to arms, which we went into. So first we have to defeat, defeat an enemy. The Spartan Noble Pretenders, who are right down here, don't know what they have. We start out with some militia, low morale, we have some light spear runners. These are the guys that can run circles around people. Laconian axemen, and then some slingers. Okay. So, to kick things off, we could colonize this settlement down here right away. That will cost us some resources, though. So, we're going to go into this one here, too. So, we have our objectives, and we also have our royal decrees. So, these are ones that help us. This is kind of the tech tree for the most part. So you start with Royal Stone, assuming that you get this one, take seven turns, then you have 80 stone plus per turn faction wide. Now the resources are different. You don't just have money. You have multiple resources. You have food, wood, stone, bronze, and gold. As you can see right now, gold comes from gold mining settlements. These are deposits of various sizes. Once the deposit runs out, the settlement will provide only 10% of its production. Right now, we are not getting any additional gold. Bronze, we are getting some through royal decrees and also, um, but we're also losing some due to our unit upkeep. Stone, we are getting some stone from buildings, so we're good there. Wood, we're producing there. It's gathered in forest settlements. And then there's food. Food is the basic resources that's required to transport units. So if we go back to here, we do some local recruitment, you can see food is the cost. So 105 food. Uh, is the upkeep, 550 is the cost to get Spearmen. So that's kind of how things are set up at the moment. Then also, so what we're going to do here first is we, we're getting stone, so we're okay there. We're getting, we're not getting any bronze, uh, we are getting bronze, we're not getting any gold. So I think, so we can get 20 gold per turn there. Because in this uh, province, so we only own... We own both of these uh, settlements. So in this province, we're getting 61 food, 28 stone. So we're producing, so we just get from the faction to and royal decrees. So we're gonna have plenty of food. However, one thing we don't have, cause like right to the side of it, you can see what it produces. So like this produces stone, this produces food. Um, I love to see, like, where's a gold settlement? Um, so this is, again, wood. Where's a gold example? It's probably in Crete, honestly. So, like, honestly, <laughs> so, like, for example, I could colonize this right now, which is kind of tempting, I'm not going to lie, because we get a lot of wood. I would rather colonize this and just do it i i'm i'm gonna think about that for a second but i kind of want to first and foremost i'm gonna get gold per turn because otherwise i have no settlements close to me that produce it and that's just no bueno so let's go to diplomacy real quick see where we start so who hates us so we're at war with these guys i'm not looking forward whoops to this discourse. oh cancel all right so we're at war with them which compared to us, they have one settlement up there. It looks like they have one further down. But who who likes us is the question. So this is our brother. So we have a defensive alliance with him. The other thing too is now instead of trade agreements, you can do barter agreements. So for a set number of turns up to 10, you can trade with each other. So you're giving resources for resources. So like in this case where it's red, 
They have a lot of food. They don't care about it, so they value it less than usual. They're probably willing to part with it more, though. Green, they're very interested in that, so they want that resource. And I think, now it doesn't tell you how much they get per turn, but it gives you an idea of where where you can go. Also, this can show you uh, where certain things are to be found. So I think, let's see if we can make this work here. So gold, I think I need to get out of, yeah, so gold, there's not honestly a lot of gold uh, nearby for us to use. So that's why getting gold will be very, very key, because who are you guys? Yeah, let's go back to here. So I actually think I'm going to do it because we're going to get stone back. That's fine. Because what does this produce? It's provincial capital. Let's we'll think about that for a hot second. Um, because then in Sparta, we can also do buildings here. So we have the ability, we can start building altars. So for the gods, we have divine will. So it's very simple. The more you pray to them, the more you do stuff for them, or sorry, the more you uh, get the Hecatomb, then you basically offer sacrifices or you can do prayers. So prayers give you a boost. These give you uh, favor, and the favor increases. So as you can see, Hera, the first uh, set, for example, military service, slingers have 20% damage. That's good for us because we use a lot of silver. Or sorry, not a lot of silver. We use a lot of slingers in our unit roster. So then we also have a reduction in army units with a higher than 50% own influence. Then you go into additional boosts zeus first round melee attack gets all the way up to you can uh, recruit a minotaur hero Ares, all heroes frighten enemy units in battle at the top level then apollo you get ranged archer unit boosts additional range better reload skill for missile units then with athena you have can get a gorgon later on heroes become unbreakable that is only, I think, for Athena and Ares. I don't think, yeah, they frighten. So all enemy, all heroes frighten enemy units. Athena, they're, all heroes are unbreakable. And then within the uh, air, if the hero's area, they are getting a, all troops are getting morale boost. Poseidon, you can have additional morale for mythic mounted and chariot units and get a Cyclops. Um, but up until then, you get campaign movement range at sea, looted treasures after battle and 100 plus food per turn for each coastal. Aphrodite, you can get a satyr, and then you also increase their damage resistance for heroes, lower enemy agent actions, you can get growth. So you kind of have to balance this out because you can't give stuff to everybody and you can only do these so often. So before we do that, so I think call to arms, oops, sorry, gotta get out of the, all right, so call to arms, so we can access, so we can get other units. So we can get skirmishers, young spears, militia. It just depends on what is there. So from Spearman, that's from our, so we're only allied with um, our brother at the moment. That's him. And then the other guys, we can get slingers from militia. So that's not gonna be helpful super early, but that will get us there. Um, eventually and this also we can click on the, the colonize uh, tab so we can see where we're going which is pretty cool so this is that ooh this is gold oh that is really far away though because that's 500 I can't quite swing it next turn I'll take this one. I don't need to worry about settling that. Honestly, getting that is probably the smartest move. Because it's probably, is it on a port? No, it's, yeah, it's in here. I could get that. Yeah, this is honestly probably the smartest thing to do. All right, because who are you guys? We may as well speak now. I, I swear that sounds like Brian Cox. Um, we're going to get a non-aggression pact with you because well, I don't want you to attack me. 
Because you can also colonize multiple per turn. The things we just don't have... We don't have enough wood. So, honestly, if I could get... I need 600 wood there. So we'll hold off on that for now. But getting that gold up and running is going to be key. We'll do that next turn. Because we can fix that. Alright. So let's come over here. And we'll, we'll, we'll do this fight. So we don't have any gods on our side. A tactical withdrawal may be wise. Um... Yeah, I'm not loving that. Hold on. I've a wrong to right. So, where's my divine will? So, who do I want? Uh, Priestess, Ares, Zeus. So, what do I have in my armies? I've got swords. Okay. Slingers, club units, sword and axe units. Prepare the sacred feast. So we're going to do that. And then... I don't have enough food yet. So we'll do that. Because also... Yeah, I don't, I don't have enough. I think we can win this. We'll just have to be smarter than them because they have, they've got some skirmishers. We'll have to use these guys rather smartly. All right, so what we could do here is there's adverse effects. So if we waited, then I'll just do it. So it's still dry, still dry. Still dry. All right, so the weather could potentially change to something like rain, which would make a make a difference. Except that divine will probably is not doing going to help me there. So this is forces uh, a, a target to attack me, so I can basically taunt them into coming after me, which is going to be very very helpful. Once you get high enough, you get the hero abilities. So this is a healing. I get 25 hit points heal per second, additional 20% armor, 30% melee attack. It freezes my stamina and I am unbreakable. So pretty good. So these guys are spear and shield infantry. So what they can do, I'll show you here. They can switch their weapons. So they can put their shields away or they can bring them out. So I want them to have their shields out. All right, so my slingers, you guys get up here. Don't skirmish. All right, so you all, you can hide in that grass. And the thing is, they're stronger than me, so they might actually come at me. So I want them to, I want them to try that. So Menelaus, you get up there. All right, let's see if we can bait them out. So they're all hidden, right? All right, perfect. Are they gonna Are they gonna come to me, or can they not see me? Oh, they're going to shuffle. So they got Spearman coming in from that side. Or you need to guard. Because we can also taunt. Eh. This is not how Spartans do things, so we're just going to move forward. All 
All right, Metal Ass, you go in the front. I think we might have they slingers too. Yeah, they're sling infantry. Just get in range of them and start trading. We are not going to overcomplicate this. Oh, that's right. I can't force. I can't force a hero. I want you to attack Menelaus. 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 Excuse me. The foe has sighted your hidden units. And since they. Attack him. Keep attacking the slingers. Oh, get out of there. Attack them. We're going to hit them in the rear, trade off there. Force them to haha <laughs> suckers. Your hero is under attack. I am aware. So I, I pulled them off. All right, except shoot, they're 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 losing heart. All right, they're broken. That's good. Attack them. I think I should be able to get this. Yeah, there's 120 cool down there. All right, they're broken. Good, hit them. Come after them. All right, they're broken. Okay, good. You can just chase them down. See, they're broken. They're broken. Turn back here. Just chase them down. You need to get out of there. Just keep chasing them. All right, they're broken. Deal with them. Just keep chasing them down. Okay. Deal with them, please. All right, they're shattered. Okay. They're shattered. Don't let them come back. 
We'll force him to attack us. Or force them, rather. Okay. All right, they're shattered, so you guys can come back. These guys should be gone very shortly. Alright. They've broken, come back and deal with them. Alright, they're broken. Victory! There we go. Yeah, this was gonna be a close one no matter what, but I think we're gonna we're gonna make it out. Deal with them. Alright, yep, they're broken. Alright, battle's over. I wanna kill him though. We'll speed this up. I just want to kill him, just because he's given me a lot of grief. We were fairly evenly matched, too, so this was a... I mean, if we, you saw the auto-resolve, if we were going to fight this, we were going to lose a lot of men either way. Wow, this guy is... very tired. Almost got him. Might actually make it to the edge of the map. Yeah, I think he's gonna he's gonna manage to get away, isn't he? Not looking too promising. Let's hop back over here. Yep, he's gonna escape. That little jerk. So, Academian victory, <laughs> Pyrrhic victory, since Fires wasn't around yet. A slight little rename. Yes, yeah, so we lost half of our force. None of the units were wiped out, though. None of the units were wiped out, so that's good. And so these are these are kind of fun. It's just a kind of break off. So we got some more food. That's good. We'll take the replenishment. Keep it tight. And we have defeated them, so that's good. So we have to muster the troops. Oh, so he did die. Nice. Um, let's hop back on our side. And then we need to do some recruitment. So we need some frontline troops. They don't have that great of an attack. So I want... Oh, I can only get one. Oh, let's get a couple slingers. We'll get plenty of food on our next turn. So. We'll move forward. Let me hit the double. Double time. So the play style is going to be a lot different. So if you, different. If you watch the Trojan campaign, that one's much more about getting everybody together. So we have to issue a royal decree. Upgrade any settlement building, which we should be able to do down here. That'll be done in one turn. Let's bring it back. And then... We're just going to come down here. I think we're at war with them. No, that's ours. Oh, wait, how, how much is it going to cost us to colonize this? Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Um, we can't recruit. Can we do call to arms, though? So he only has that. 
Let's look at building up. So here we get archers, chariots. Oh, and then this is where we get the slingers. We don't have enough wood. Line of sight. Foreign encampment. Oh, uh, this is for... Oh, uh, Altar of Dyke. Dykey? Negative one time, it recruits unit own armies in this province. Favor of Zeus. Uh, that doesn't really help me a ton, though, because I'm not going to use a bunch of club units. Or unless is an axe considered a club. I also don't have enough wood. And it might make more sense. Here, we're actually going to switch this up because we're, we're going to... We're going to get gold from them, so it's not as big of an issue. And also, too, with the mission, I want to start getting... Start getting some of... Eh, that's actually not... That's not a huge... Never mind. Um, we'll switch to gold, just because gold's going to be rarer. We'll, ke we'll keep the gold going. Eh, actually, no. No, no, no. Stay focused, Rubicon. Okay, so maybe it is smarter to do that. Menelaus of Sparta. So how much is it going to cost me? 100 stone. I can't recruit, so I'm not going to be using the food for anything unless I do a prayer. What about any other places? Honestly, it would probably be smarter to get one of these. What's this? Why can't I colonize it? I don't have enough wood. Okay. Well, that can be solved. Excuse me, big bro. Wow, Agamemnon, you're kind of taking it on the chin there, buddy. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Let's do military access and then single barter. I just need... I think I need like 200 wood. Oh, well, if that's the case. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that lets me colonize it. Oh, interesting. What is... Oh, is this, um... Where's the building browser? I think this is, uh... Oh, this is the harpies. That's what it is. Yeah, this is the Harpies. Okay. And actually, here... I'm tempted to build that Zeus one. Because what's the... Melee attack of club units. Actually, here, wait. Let's just... Duh. I could look at them. I remain undaunted. Axe infantry, yeah, that's different. Because this doesn't give us favor of Zeus. It helps us recruit a lot, though, and reduces the cost of the foreign units not present in Menelaus's roster. This, though, gives us happiness. 
This actually might be worthwhile, though. It's just getting the favor of Zeus. And it increases the happiness. That's probably a smart thing to do. So here, let's... And it also gives us points for... Let's yes, start with... Let's start with this. That's Ow! What we came for. I clicked too fast. Alright, so with you, we have military access, not aggression pact. Argos. King Menelaus is free to military speak. access. And then... Hold on, before I do this. That, shoot, I clicked too fast. 20 gold, 340 wood. So I need 220 wood. And you have a ton. Yes, we should talk. Okay. Um... What could I give you? Should have done on the other one. 16 gold. I can't do that. Um. I need 220 wood. And then... 10 gold. Two hundred twenty three. Two hundred twenty one. All right. All right, that'll work. An excellent. OK, so now we can build this, start getting the favor of Zeus, because the one thing that will help us is. The more allies we have, we get more influence for defensive alliances, and we also get the Minotaur, which will help us. All right, so. All right, so that's all we can do on this turn. We've upgraded the settlement building. Nice. Cults leveled up. Perfect. Menelaus of the Loud Warcry. We shall settle here. Your heroic deeds have earned you the blessings of Ares. Oh, nice. So let's see. So we level him up. We get the Dread of Ares. So either one increases our hit points. So this gives us targets a single enemy unit, drains their morale, and reduces their stamina. 60 per... Ooh. Yeah, we're going that. As much as I love to scare people. All right, Um. so first things first. We need to build that, get that going again. And then for you, we need to recruit some people. Um... What's the, uh... I agree. Why can I... Here, pin. So this is bonus versus axeman, bonus versus swordsman, and bonus versus large. Um... So, and hold on to, before we do any of this. In Sparta, I need to... I need 860 wood, so I can build that in the next turn. Don't need to worry about that as much. So this is getting us favor with Zeus. Is that... So it's boosting the happiness. I honestly need... That would actually be wise. So I need to get 20 wood from somebody. Who likes me? Ithaca. Take wine with me, and we will talk. Single barter. So I need... 20 wood. Are you just going to let me have it? Consider it. Thanks.
All right, so that's getting built, so that's good. Now we need to recruit. So we've got three slingers, so we need to bolster our front line. So we get two of these guys, one of them. That's a start. We need one more unit. I just don't have any food left. Oh, nice. We're going to get 12 gold next turn. Perfect. Um, How much food do I need to recruit? I need like 400 food. I wonder if my brother would give it to me. Because so I've got two of them. I'd like a third spear just to hold down the front line, protect the slingers, then the, everybody else can go around them. Um, I wonder what Big Bro will help us out with. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Oh, nope. Wrong side. What will it take for a thousand food? Make it work. 234 stone. Um, I can live with that for now, because we're going to be completing some other missions here shortly. Oops. Nope. Get out. Close. There we go. Stone, I'm less concerned about. With fortitude. All right, so got another one of you. So we're gonna have two of the axemen. Uh, let's get another slinger while we're at it. That's enough. And then, yeah, next turn we should be good to go. Two more turns until the decree. And we're just rocking and rolling. Every settlement in the province will give you complete dominion. That's fine. All who live there. Thirst for conquest, maintain control of one province. Okay, I know. Strong in defense. Menelaus of Sparta. Oh, it's gonna we're gonna it's gonna take longer. Um You can be recruited. You can build something there. Should honestly keep saving for that. Should consider building an altar. I can do that next turn. Now oh, this is also helpful. To recruitment, lumber warehouse, and pretty good wood. We we're not getting any wood actually from them, so it's food that we should worry about. Happiness, influence, it's good. Um, we, oh, we already have the mud brick houses, so that's for growth. That's good. Um, Etis. If I was going to get invaded, this is where it would come. But I don't think we have any of the... Oh, that's that's here. That's the extra garrison. Um, Hunter's Lodge, don't need to worry about that. Resources, 5% boost. Um, let's let's build that. So we're full up on. Oh, I can do call to arms too. That's perfect. Um. All right, so the slingers is double the cost. That's the only thing that sucks. Um. Actually, here, let's do this. So I want, ah, it's really not that good of a deal. This'll work. These guys will be the flankers. And then these 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 two groups will be the fl flankers. They'll hold the front while the, while they do that work. We'll go down there and take that next. Let's come down here to our other holdings. Um, that might not hurt. Let's go to our other. Need 980. Really can't build much here. Uh, it could actually be good to build a muster field here. 
We have the food, so let's do it. Down here, though, it makes a little less sense, but... I need wood. I need a lot of wood. This actually would be rather handy, though. It's going to reduce the happiness, though. Okay. Alright, well, there's no need to... Eh, just in case something goes wrong, it can't... Because who, who's that? Let me recruit Spearman and Axeman. Yeah, just in case something goes wrong, we have the food to do it. All right, so we issued the Royal Decree, mustered the troops. The splendor of your settlements reflects your growing reputation. Excellent. Reward. Upgrade any settlement to its maximum level. Nice. All right, so here we could production buildings, stone, timber. Honestly, timber might be more... We're getting a decent amount, but that's basically one building per turn. We could do gold, but we're getting a lot there. Timber is quite a bit. Um, light infantry, medium infantry units, agents. That might not be bad either. Let's get our resources uh, together first, and then, because this thing isn't going to last forever. So, where can I build? Don't really have anything there. I need 180 more wood. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Really need to get that practice range going, but I'm okay for now. <sighs> Who's got... He's got a crap ton of wood. Of course I will listen to you, Menelaus. Could he... Would he be interested in giving me? Four hundred? Or five? Or wait? Or seven? Got it. Perfect! Non-aggression pact. And I got all the wood I need. All right, so I could build that, or I could upgrade some of these cities. Um, eh, the port's probably better. Except what does this port give us over here? Oh, there are no resources to boost. So let's prioritize this port for now. Because is the mission upgrade any settlement building? Oh, it's the settlement building to its maximum level. Okay. Okay, you can go away. Um, let's get the port rolling. I remain undaunted. And how do you? Before you set set sail, what's the garrison there like? Eight units. All right, yeah, we should be fine. All right, you'll be able to get up there next turn. Six turns until gold. I should really consider his divine will. How we doing? Zeus. Yeah. Prayer of Apollo. Prayer to Hera. That doesn't make much difference. Prayer to Athena. Poseidon. Oh, that's actually helpful. Your blessing, 
All right, so we're going to have a lot of buildings done in the next turn. We're still good with our army. All right, so we'll end our turn. So far, it's working out. Prayers answered. Huzzah. Oh, wait, does this only give us... Oh, that must only give us, um, initially. Interesting. Okay. Um, growth. Don't need to worry about that as much. That's probably a good one. Let's take a look at... Don't have quite enough. I need two temper. <sighs> Bro! A family acting in unity is a force to be reckoned with. How much will you give me? Okay. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right, so let's get that going again. So we'll get growth, which will help us. We just, we really need to start churning out some. We're not getting any wood from this province though, at least yet, because what do these guys? Okay, so this produces timber. So once we get that, we're actually, what do they have, muster field? Fletcher would return, okay. Always steadfast. All right. Um we actually don't need to don't need to fight this. Strike hard. Stabby stab. Ooh and stab. Not bad. And we got food and gold. Um, don't we'll just Occupy. occupy it. So we have a decisive victory. We've secured the province. That should also have completed our mission. Yeah. Ooh, an elite unit. All right, I'd like to get rid of these guys. So let's boot them. And is there anything? Nothing else we can build at the moment. I really need to get working on this, though. How much do I need? So I need 600... 642 wood. Intelligent discourse They're not up for it. He doesn't have enough. We got plenty. We could talk? Yes. Ah, and I, I can take you for a ride here. Wow, I'll get all your wood. This is fantastic. Um, and I'll take all your bronze. How much gold can I get away with? Perfect. All for non-aggression pact. I'm happy. Alrighty. So that needs to get built. Need over a thousand there. That's going to be done on the next turn. Oh, and we need to see here. Okay, that's actually not bad. All right, so good. So that's increasing the wood. And then we need to focus on building. We've got some population surplus. We're going to get another point very soon so we can build up these two more. And then for you... I'm tempted to get that too. 
that's another port. Actually, yes, we're gonna do that. We need 600, so we'll get that next turn. So we're getting some expansion going, which is good. Eventually we'll need another army. Called arms. Ooh. Shielded clubman. Flame. All right. Ooh, they cost bronze, though. That's a sucky thing. So do they. Club warriors. I could get one of them. I mean, these guys are flankers. That's what I need them to do. How do they compare to these guys, though? Actually, a lot better. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get some... Hmm. <sighs> oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. That's... They actually might be. Let's compare them. Melee attack. And actually they're they're okay. Certainly. Oops. So let's compare you guys. Melee attack, they have more they have less ammunition, but they do way more damage, and they have better range. Um, we'll hold off on that for now, just because that's going to cost a lot of bronze, and our upkeep is going to go pretty quick. But the thing is, with these guys, um, who do I want? Who do I want? Who do I want? Um, we're going to go with them. Immediately. I can only get one though. Well, that sucks. Oh, can I only get one per turn? All right, and then just for funsies. Okay. 40 bronze. All right, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we'll end our turn. A rival power proposes a change in your relationship. Ajax. You want bronze. Why do you want bronze? Because you need it. Um...
How about you give me... My trouble. Thank you. All right, so we need to finish off. Nice. Commandments may be declared. In oh, I forgot my commandment. Your military might grows. And so let's see. We can do reduce the cost of buildings, recruitment, happiness. Against you. Make the effort to expand your fighting forces and keep the foe at bay. All right. Okay. Um, let's you can upgrade Sparta. Go away. Uh, but before Should we mutters of discontent reach your ears, discourage open rebellion with threats of force. Oh, that's right. So might not be a bad idea to Oh, so we can do both. Um We'll upgrade that. And where is the last settlement of the faction we're at war with? Oh, they're all the way up there. Jeez. Talk about a hike. Alright, well, time to get. Time to set sail. Restoring honor. Burning away a little bit of the map. Let's go full speed. Sailing up. Um. We're going to need to recruit as we go. All right, so we're going to get two more turns for that. Four turns until that's built. I should probably... Come on. I should probably... So who are you guys? No, you're not... We have a non-aggression pact. Oh, but they're allies. Oh. <laughs> um, I think we're going to have to start building up a little bit of a secondary force down here. Let's see. Follow, reload... Era. Ooh, that's good. Casualty replenish rate. All right. Let's see, Warlord Commander. Defender Veteran. That'll be rather effective. Let's see. Defender. Fighter Ravager. I'd like to get him. I love a challenge. So a that will help us with that will help us with um the happiness, hopefully. And then also we'll start building up. We can potentially even take these guys on. So we'll end our turn. 
A foreign power seeks to ally with you. Okay, who are you? All right, you're fairly, you're decently strong. You're allied with me. You're also allies with Mycena. Okay, give me wood. Yeah, I'll take that. Lovely. Fractured Kingdom. Recruit three units via calls to arms. Okay. Not all who serve you give their best. Here we see what your new ally offers support even before the battle. Excellent. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the episode here. Um, we're gonna start. Um. So is this all the same faction? No, they're different factions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode right here. We're going to start building up another army down here to try to take this out. And what we'll do is we'll get that moving. And plus, we're going to keep Menelaus moving up this way in order to take out the last city up here. And then we'll keep moving forward. So for now, this is Rubicon signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Again, don't forget, click on the logo down here in the bottom right hand corner. That's the easiest way to get notifications of when these come out. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the expected cadence. So for now, signing out. We'll see you all later. Take care, everybody.